I'm here to give you a quick rundown of what SolidWorks on the cloud is all about. If you are a SolidWorks user, you've probably heard all kinds of comments about 3D experience, 3D experience world. That's what it's, SolidWorks world is called now. You may have heard something about the 3D experience platform. And if you've been able to take a look at anything with uh, relation to the 3D experience platform, it, it can be a little bit daunting and intimidating. There's a ton of stuff to learn. There's talk of the compass, you know, what's that all about? There's a ton of apps that are available. There's a huge amount of functionality here, but in its simplest form, it doesn't have to be that intimidating. To turn on what we sometimes call the SolidWorks connector, uh, the connector to the platform, you can turn on in your add-ins, the 3D experience add-in. Now that does a couple of things for you. It basically gives you the ability to store your files on the cloud. Uh, you'll see some changes take place inside of SolidWorks. So for example, in the task pane over here, we now have what's called the My Session window. And this shows you what files you have open in SolidWorks. And then there's also what amounts to uh, a window into your local cache. These are files that uh, are stored on your local hard drive that you've had open recently or have stored on the cloud recently. Uh, just to show you what's there in your local cache. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll have something that takes, uh, takes the same place as the display pane. And this is your lifecycle and collaboration tab uh, that's directly related to files on the 3D platform or actually files that are still on your local hard drive. In this particular case, these three files still exist on my local hard drive and they are unknown to 3D experience. They are not on the platform yet. If I wanted to save them to the platform, or let's just say I wanted to save one of these files to the platform, I could do so. In the file menu, you can choose to save files to the 3D Experience platform or to your local PC. Let's save it to the 3D Experience platform. You can see the status is telling us it's going to be copied to the current local work folder as well as the platform. And now what we see is back in our subassembly, this file has been saved to the platform. It tells us what revision we're at, if we're looking at the current revision, and whether it's locked or not. If I lock this file, I can now make changes to it and edit it. Once it's on the platform, you have that capability to lock or unlock files, a bit like you would with document management software like PDM. Now, I'm sure everyone's heard of uh, so many of the different cloud-based applications, such as, uh, there's so many of them, um, like OneDrive, for instance, Google Drive, there's iDrive, there's Box, there's Dropbox, right? It goes on and on and on. Uh, so really, what we're looking at with the 3D platform, in its basic form, is just one of those functions where you can save your files to the cloud. SolidWorks is still loaded on my personal computer. SolidWorks is not on the cloud. It's just the files, your SolidWorks documents, that are on the cloud. So I hope this gives you a better idea of what is happening with SolidWorks. In a nutshell, it's evolving. It's evolving to give us that capability to being able to store our files on the cloud, should we choose to do so, using a cloud-based storage program that is built for SolidWorks. This is Dave Murray with CAD Dimensions. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tech tip. Happy modeling!